After the ending of the Hundred Year War and the settling of the disputes in the Earth Kingdom fire colonies, Avatar Aang and Katara settled down. Aang was eager to ensure that his culture and air nomad traditions would be passed down and continue on into the future. As a result of this, Aang stepped back from his duties to the world and focused more on starting a family and his duty to the Air Nation. So let's break down Tenzin's birth and very early years and why it was an extremely nerve wracking time for Avatar Aang. So to start off, we have to remember that Tenzin is the last of Aang and Katara's children. This led to Aang becoming extremely nervous as after his first two kids, he was still unable to produce an airbending successor to his culture. As you can imagine, this caused extreme turmoil for Aang and likely led him to multiple apocalyptic visions of the future where he failed as the last airbender and the heir to his nation. Thankfully however, and to the great joy and glee of Aang, Tenzin was finally born. But along with this came the extreme and pressing burden to continue Aang's culture. He was extensively taught the customs and traditions of the Air Nomads, and was quickly gifted almost all of Aang's air related possessions in order to help him learn the culture. With this huge burden and pressure to continue on in his father's tradition, he was often the target of bullying and teasing from his siblings, mostly because they felt that Aang was giving Tenzin all of the attention. During this period, Aang also started to get weaker and more frail due to the aging he experienced experienced within the iceberg, making him unable to continue passing down his knowledge at its full extent. Because of this, he began to compile a journal with all of the collective knowledge, wisdom and lessons of the Air Nomad culture, so that Tenzin would have something to continue teaching a new generation after Aang's passing. After many years of training and study, Tenzin had still not been able to earn his airbending arrows. One day, after he noticed two young street rats trying to deface and graffiti the airbending gates on Air Temple Island, he immediately began chasing them on his glider. When he caught up to them, he began to fist fight the young vandals in Republic City, but eventually both he and the street rats were arrested and brought to Toph at the station. Once there, Aang of course got his son off the hook, but the situation made Tenzin realize that the reason he hadn't obtained his mastery arrows yet was because he was too quick to violence. He thought more about attacking the problem than solving it. Eventually though, Tenzin became wise and calm and earned his arrows before the passing of his father Aang. And if you want to see more from the journal that Aang wrote to Tenzin, including Sokka's only message to him, check out the video on screen now. Thanks so much for watching guys, really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.